Welcome back, friends, to the Cadaver Club. I'm Ben. Uh, I'm just going to do this video real quick to show you this uh, Chibi Maru Godzilla model kit that I got. And this is, of course, the counterpart to the uh, Kiryu Mecha Godzilla kit that I showed you guys last time. Uh, and I did put this one together. And here he is. What do you think of that? Adorable little son of a bitch. Uh, he's pretty cool. He uh, is kind of jet black, but he's shiny, uh, so that helps sort of break up the form. He does sort of remind me of an extra ripe avocado, uh, but he's pretty cool. Uh, he's got articulation that is not as good as the Kiryu. But he's still pretty cool. Uh, so his head's on a ball joint. And it can do some of this stuff. But because of the sort of overall geometry of his forms, uh, he just doesn't have that much actual articulation. So he actually also comes with a breath effect. Uh, and I should mention that his uh, dorsal plates glow in the dark as does his breath effect. Look at that. He was wrecked to do battle. He's fitting to fuck this dude up. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys these this uh, kit real quick. Uh, they're just gonna basically sit on the shelf and do battle. Adorable battle. Um, yep, so that is those two. Um, they're pretty cool. This guy you can get on Amazon for about $20. He was a lot simpler to put together than the Kiryu was. Um, but the Kiryu's cooler. Uh, and I don't think he's as available anymore. So, uh, he used to be the same price and now I think he's like 40 or something. But if you see one at the original price, definitely pick it up. It's pretty awesome. I also got a few more X Plus figures. Um, and these... Well, here's the first one. Yes, look at that adorable little fucker. Uh, this is the X Plus D4 Real 1962 King Goji from uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla. And um, yeah, I really like this uh, D4 Real line because um, A, they're highly detailed. Uh, they are super adorable. Look at that. Um, and they don't take up a lot of shelf space. So I'm going to be getting a lot more of these um, because they're super cool. My homie Al over at Super Ghidorah. Check his channel out. He does a lot of uh, kaiju figure reviews and stuff. Uh, but he referred to these as high-end pops, basically. Uh, and they kind of are because they're awesome and cute like Pops, but uh, a little more expensive and a lot more detailed. So that is 62. And then I also got the 1954 D4 Real Train Biter. Look at that. Gosh, these are sweet. Um, Yep, and this is the Rick version, and you can see his dorsal plates also glow in the dark. Um, but he is very cool as well. Now, uh, I got this basically sealed, new sealed in the box, but I had it delivered at work, and then I threw it in my backpack without the box, and I thought it'd be okay, but this broke. So the train and the arms are actually... Um, a much softer material, and then the rest of him is PVC, sort of harder plastic. Um, so that's unfortunate, uh, but I can just sort of like, uh, see, focus. I can sort of just press it together and it fits perfectly, or I could throw in some CA glue if I wanna get all fixy about it. But anyway, yeah, so these are the two uh, D4 Real. Godzilla's that I currently own and uh, I actually pre-ordered another one another two I should say uh, and 
they will be here at some point. Yeah. Ah. Uh, but anyway, so that's it guys. Just wanted to show you guys these awesome new uh, Godzilla figures I got. Uh, so anyway, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Cadaver Club. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.